Christ. Uh, talk about a rudderless boat. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there was one way to save the show, and that was for me to figure out what a fucking John Malkovich sounded like, and, I, and it never happened. No, you did fine. I mean, I think that's the fucked up part about it is that uh, uh, he doesn't, he has a weird, a very, like, either you do a really, really, really good John Malkovich, or you don't do a John Malkovich. Right. So that's, it, it's a hard thing to do. Which, Brett is correct. I, I, I as a coward. And, and, <laughs> and I totally pussed out of the entire premise, uh, but I was only saved by the fact that you were so excited to do a John Malkovich impression. I thought I thought it was going to happen. Sometimes the magic happens. Oh, so did I. Other times you do just like uh, I guess it's like it's like a seance, and I'm like, uh, who's here? And he's like, it's me, Doctor Doc Evil. Evil. It, 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 instead, it turned into Brian loses. He has to do a John Malkovich impression for the rest of the show. Oh, great. Brian won't be on the rest of the show. <laughs> He'll just run to the back of the room and not get on a microphone. This is what happens when you have Teller out to the property is you're like, oh, I could just shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> just let the big mouth yeah. fucking carry it. Oh, goddamn. Uh, Brett, you had a physical fitness odyssey. Yes. It is now over. Yes. How'd it go? I lost over the course like 10 to 12 pounds. Hells yeah! <laughs> then I found five of it back. Okay. And, uh, but I'm stronger, yeah. and I look pretty much the same. No, I I, <laughs> I, I would actually disagree. Uh, you, you, I look bigger. You you are more chiseled in the face. Okay. And, and I think I, I think that the viewers at home would agree. Okay. If they're good people. If I they're mean, bad yeah. people. I don't need any fucking pity. All right. I, wow. Jesus yeah. Christ. I'm going to do. Take a goddamn well, compliment. That's, yeah. un Jesus right. that's unfortunate. Don't because pan down. Have you ever what are you seen doing? a bukkake of pity? <laughs> Watch <laughs> this. The audience is yeah. just going to be comes. nothing Hear but it. fucking pity. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Uh, just Lord. everybody, everybody yeah. say, we love you for who you are. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Every They're not doing it. Okay, good. So yeah, but but it's okay because I've continued on with the 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 training program. I'm going for six months, and I'm gonna just keep going. How, how many times a week? Uh, five to six. Holy cow! You you're doing the full. That's I'm going for it. God damn, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, that's really what it is. The, 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 those those kind of crash things are are there to right. break bad habits, yes. set good habits, yeah. and and the only thing that really matters is what you do going. And and the main bad habit that I didn't correct was nutrition, and I'm yeah. doing that now. So, so, so what, yeah, what, what is tomorrow? What? Yeah, that's <laughs> the thing, right? So so what is what is the biggest thing that you gotta you gotta you gotta kick? Uh, uh, probably sugar and just the amounts. I I mean I need to go down to a six ounce piece of meat. Not yeah. a 10 ounce. Mm. Uh, I, 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 will, I will say that if you find yourself like, if you want to feel full yes. um, and, and consume fucking massive amounts of food. Yeah. The, uh, the, the Dr. Furman nutrition stuff. It's like, it's, 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 it's all veggies, but my God, like you spend all day eating and your belly is always full. Nice. Uh, so, so you, you don't like it, you're kind of exhausted by eating so much. <laughs> and then like, just can I stop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I, I thought I would just eat all popcorn. Uh, you know <laughs> no. what? No. Actually, you can just, uh, you know, don't pop it. Yeah, just kernels. Just kernels. Smash them. Kernel mustard. Pop, pop, pop. Grab that. In grab your belly. Grab, that grab just it. grits. That's just grits, right? I think it's uh, just eating seeds. Yeah. <laughs> you probably just eat yeah. seeds. Uh, uh, did you not see Bird Box with John Malcolm? I did not. <laughs> I did not see that. <laughs> uh, it's him as a I was bird. By the way, I was glad seeds. that there was a, a Mice of Men uh, uh, reference I because I was I like, he was fantastic in that. Yeah. 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 All the John Malkovich movies I know weren't in that. Oh, like Rounders wasn't in it. Yeah. Uh, being John Malkovich wasn't in it. No. Being John Malkovich would have been the exam would have been an example question, except I think like right before we started, one of you guys made a being John Malkovich reference or something, and so I decided to cut to get it. That was very kind. What was of you. what was the line? The quote was just Malkovich. So that was more of a <laughs> oh, just example. him saying Malkovich. Malkovich. Yeah, Malkovich, Malkovich, Malkovich. Cooper Commander. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what was that at the end? Because okay. at the end, it, it was just like 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 whatever file brain dump all impressions. <laughs> no. Like just uh, you, you did a GI Joe Transformers crossover be, because the guy who did the voice and you you probably already know this being a, a an anime guy, but uh, yeah. the guy the voice of uh, uh, Cobra Commander is the same voice as Starscream, and that really messed me up. That's as a Steve kid. Bloom, right? I guess I don't know. Yeah. But uh, as a matter of fact, and they even in one episode of Transformers. Uh, had like a mysterious human like this is way in the future uh, 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 like a new Cybertron or something and they needed to get something fixed and and you hear and just like man that sounds like Starscream without the synth on it That's yeah. and what's going on and the very last scene he's like I'll do it one more for old time's sake and then there's like a wide shot a silhouette against a setting sun and he throws off his cape and he goes Cobra <laughs> and my mind was blown. Mind blown. And that was in Transformers? Yeah. More than meets the eye, they say. Yeah. <laughs> that, the funny thing you about that. the alien gun? <laughs> the, the dark side of the moon one? Yeah. I remember watching the preview for that. I do believe it's Star, one of the Star Wars. And when it came, that first part of it, everybody in the theater, that first scene where they're going to the moon and you're like, Okay, this is cool because you had no idea what's going on. Oh, well, yeah. oh you what thought it was the movie. Was. Yeah, yeah, you're thinking, oh, this is great, and around this dark side of the moon, and then you see the 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 uh, the uh, Autobot or something. Yeah, like that. I think it was a Decepticon. Decepticon, and, yeah, and yeah. everybody in the audience just went, ah, oh, <laughs> what? No, we're on the moon now. Yeah. <laughs> Transformers on the fucking moon. <laughs> that's exactly, that's the exact song. Yeah. Autobots get sick, jumps off of the one sixth gravity that's on the moon. Transformers, how do combustion engines work? <laughs> I'm beginning Stop to suspect. Stop thinking so hard, we are ruining the movie. Look at Michael Bay, just don't fucking look, cause it's whatever Michael Bay. he wants. Transformers, why is that Stanley Kubrick over there? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, are you telling me Stanley. we never actually went to the moon <laughs> and we're revealing the truth through a Decepticon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stanley Kubrick is a Decepticon. Yes. He lives on the moon, that was a reference, and he's gonna make jokes about The Shining. <laughs> I told you that, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That Billy Duvall reference. Yeah. That's the new, the new, the new, the new Decepticon, Stanley Kubrick. He's real flippant about how he treated Shelley Duvall. Yep. Uh, you know, Shelley Duvall actually lives, um, actually closer than Round Rock to us right now. Oh, really? Yeah, she lives uh, hey, that was pretty close. close. <laughs> Don't fucking write me up on next door. <laughs> She's she's apparently a, a sweetheart and a beloved figure. I think in Wimberley, just just down the road. Uh, well, then I'm on your side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we all I, I think we, it's we, fucked we're up. allies. I think it's fucked up what he did. Meet you at the blue hole, if you know what I mean. All right. Yeah, oh. Shelly, meet him at his blue hole. <laughs> is, that, <laughs> is, that a, is that a Transformers joke? No, it's a watering oh. place to jump in the water. He simply waters his blue hole, Justin. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not see the rabbits? <laughs> Tell me. Look over there. I want you to look at the rabbits. Do you see him, Justin? <laughs> do you see him? Like, oh my God, I do. <laughs> think of damn the right. God damn. We're like four layers deep. Hey, oh, uh, uh, what kind of title do we want to call this? We got some titles here at uh, nightattack.showbot.tv, including Needs More Dicks. Need One more dicks. Mm -hmm. Must Like Dicks. Uh, waiting line for the K hole. That was a pre show thing. Yeah. Too many dicks on the dance floor. Too, Too many dicks. dicks. I've been in Austin for 12 hours and I'm driving Teller. Uh, spoiler. That's, yeah. I yeah. politely decline. I politely uh, decline uh, is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, make a movie and the bunny gets off. Oh, that's the quote. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, that's the thing I said. It's, I it's fucking a combo. That. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a nice combo. Uh, Delta is a pre show thing. Uh, I would say it needed more genitalia. An unsettling number of dicks. An unsettling number, number of dicks. dicks. Uh, I don't remember that line, but that certainly would be descriptive. Yeah. yeah. Uh, notorious BNB. <laughs> notorious BNB. I'm Oswald. That's wall. pretty good. Couple <laughs> bot. Let's, Let's eat, eat some ass. ass. <laughs> 
apple there is, all right, dick. there is a thing that happens with Brian when he's improving, where <laughs> it just like past a certain level, it's just a singularity of every thought he's ever had. Yes. And it just starts coming out in whatever order it wants. So it's just like, it's like, like sometimes it's related to the letters. Sometimes it's sure. sound alikes. It's just like, he's like, like I'm throwing this shit out there. Like, it's all coming out. I'm reading Oswald Cobblepot. Let's eat ass and burn the ass. <laughs> but he's always surprised that we don't understand it. Yeah. And then he's like, duh. Like, yeah. like that was A B A. Come on, and and and. Um. <laughs> yes. I'm on one couple pot. Let's eat, let's some, eat ass. some ass. The penguin. What? The penguin. I can hear. I can hear Danny DeVito saying that though. <laughs> yeah, couple pot. Was, let's eat some ass. God, there was enough words that were close to dirty words that I was just like substituting the close dirty words. I don't know how you get there. Dirt. All I know is don't need to know the calculus. All I need to know is that that gem is in front of me forever. <sighs> That's I'm true. Oswald Cobblepot. Let's eat some ass. <laughs> <laughs> let's, see. Uh, let's see. Oh damn it. Uh, red as the devil's pixelated crotch area. <laughs> NPR yeah. eventually airs BBC. <laughs> uh, air bung and peen. East, quote unquote, Easter eggs. <laughs> oh, jeez. Frisbee golf paraphernalia. I like Easter eggs. Easter eggs. Be <laughs> Beaster eggs. Uh, Beaster eggs, yeah. Stroking rabbits. Too many dicks. Let's see. I didn't order tuna. I ordered ham. <laughs> that famous. I feel like that is a good Malkovich line. Though. I feel yeah. like Malkovich could make a meal I out of that line. I didn't order the tuna. tuna. I, I ordered, ordered the, the ham. ham. Yeah. Yeah. We're on the same boat. Yeah. So I knew we would get it. We'd get yeah. there. Yeah. We get there. Uh, we got prison rules. That's pretty good. I didn't order the tuna. <laughs> tuna. I the ordered tuna. The, the ham. ham. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think? We're here at the top of the list. I politely now. decline. <laughs> I politely decline is pretty good. All right. We'll do I politely decline. Thank yeah. you to Pete Man 1000 and everyone who showed out as a man in chat. Although, uh, Scoop Nova Girl, uh, uh, just plus one on I'm Oswald Cumblebot. <laughs> Let's, Let's eat some ass. Uh, uh, good shit. Oh, hey, by the way, speaking of Matt Donnelly, the mind noodler. Uh, if you happen to have the means, Ooh. he is out. Is, in... is it official? Can we? Say, is it ours to announce? He's said he's, that he, he got it. Oh, great! What well, he's told us? No, he has he's got tweeted. Yeah. I'm oh, great! For the tweet okay, right if, now, it's, so. if it's public, great, good. It. Uh, uh, good. He's going to be good, in the Magic Castle uh, the first week of December. Yeah, work in the uh, the exact same room that uh, that I worked when I worked the castle. All, yep. uh, and uh, I'm trying to uh, talk Justin into running out to go see the show with me. Absolutely. So yeah, December 6th through the 12th at the parlor of Prestidigitation. If you are not a member of the Magic Castle, I believe you can get in if you go eat dinner at the restaurant. Uh, but that would be something that you'd probably want to uh, uh, make, make plans for yeah. ASAP. Otherwise, if you uh, know a magician, which, I mean, if you're around this show, Jesus, they're lousy with them. So, like, uh, if you know a member of the uh, Academy of Magical Arts, that's right. And uh, uh, you can you can get in there. In uh, fact, uh, uh, here's a fun game. Try to take the longest path by saying, who do you know that do you think could get me into the Magic Castle? And, and see if you can even make it to six steps before you have somebody getting you into the magic castle. Do you think that's just an us thing, or does everybody have this? Look, this is the way science works. This is how we find out. Beep, boop. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you send a transformer up to the dark side of the moon, you say, take I feel a look like, around. I feel like for us, we would, we're, we're like, like, who do we, like, talk to? Okay. Like, like it, the, is, it is spoiled there, for choice. There, there but was, I, don't, I don't know if that's everybody. There was an embarrassingly long amount of time when... The only person I knew to get me into the castle was David Copperfield's manager. <laughs> so I would call him with the dumbest thing, like, like, hey, can I go to the castle? He's like, you know, sure. Okay, fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was amazing. So it would just be like him to call in to put your name on the thing so you could get in. Yes. Yeah. Because I didn't know who else to call. You didn't know who else. Yeah. You knew no other magician in LA. Uh, who was a member? Who is a member? Are yeah. you a member? No. Okay. Uh, well, you really, you really have to live in 
LA or Vegas. Well, uh, it it's, yeah. it's, it's like a country club in that it's expensive enough that uh, uh, if you don't golf and don't <laughs> and don't why live go? in the town, yeah. you know, yeah, why yeah. would you? Why? Yeah. Why would you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so Matt Donnelly, go uh, uh, check that out. That, that's a huge honor for him. Uh, one of the benefits of living in Austin yep. and having Andrew Heaton now live in Austin yep. is that uh, he so graciously invited me to come be on his uh, Friday, Friday release. Release. release so, yep. oh, so you guys did it in person. Let, let me put it. Let me put it another way. So Friday at uh, the Worthless Bastards, yep. uh, Andrew was there. And so I was like, hey, he, and he goes, yeah. I go, I want to be on your show. Yep, yep, yep. And he's like, cool, let's do it. Yep. So I done, I've done two episodes of uh, the show. And uh, no, we did not do it together in person. Oh, you did I it did it at my, yeah. Yeah, my studio and he at his. But I think uh, if I get to do it again, I'm going to grab him and say, come over to my studio. Well, I mean, uh, 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 yeah, I, I, w- I, w- I was about to be jealous because uh, uh, if you had done it at, at his place, that would be the first time that. Uh, uh, oh, I've seen this place. Have you I, seen I, it? Yeah, I helped him move in. You son of a bitch. It was great. Oh, but, but you had to help him move in. All right. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll think. <laughs> no, you want it all set up. And no, this, yeah, his, yeah, his yeah, place yeah, is really great. Yep, yep, it's yep. great. So uh, this is a new development. I did not aware of this. He is an Austin resident at uh, the moment. Indeed, he oh, is. Yeah. yeah. Oh. No, he is he is now officially in Austin. He uh uh we went out to brunch on Saturday. Where'd y'all go? To the Gordo's public house. Yeah. Okay. The donut place, yeah. Yeah. The donut place. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Okay. I, mean, I don't want to shit on it, but like everything has to be on a donut. You yeah. can't just give me a donut on the side. Give me a regular ass breakfast and then I have a nice little donut. No, it's all gonna be on the donut. Well, yeah. The fuck? Well, I mean, there are plenty of other places that have stuff not on donuts. Yeah. I have never so wish go more to those to places. have a harmonica than right now. Yeah. I, all I'm saying is this: if you let's say somebody wants to go, then maybe you have one option that's like. If you don't want the whole all, all your pile of shit on a fucking donut, ask it to be de holed or some shit like that. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> and just so I, go uh, to the vegan place and say, Can I can I just get a steak? Can I just get a steak? That's not the same. There are many places. The place is called Gordo Donuts. What do you think they sell? They there? also sell. Of course, I, I don't mind if I get as a side a donut, right? I'm sorry, it's not. I'm it's sorry. not Gordo's. It seems side. there's been a misunderstanding. It's me, Oswald Cobblepot. <laughs> some Somebody wanted to be de holed. <laughs> I think I could take care of this. And donut places don't all put shit on top of the donut. No, that's why this place is unusual. But it's not Gordo's all the shits on top of the donut emporium. It's just a Gordo's public house. They don't even have donut in the fucking name. The Gourmet literal... donuts. Gordo's. The, the site is a giant donut going. Oh, I mean, I'm it's aware kind of the thing. whole thing I knew I was it. getting a fucking donut. I, I just didn't know on the breakfast, it said everything comes with a donut. Didn't say we pile all this shit on top of a donut. It doesn't matter what the fuck you say. It's not, You're living in a goddamn totalitarian universe like where everything uh, fucking lives on a donut. God, it's not so, like it's beef stew on a donut. Oh. It's interesting oh, I'm thing. Sure they would. I'm sure these motherfuckers would. All right. Smash cut to an alternate universe where this conversation is being had in two cubicles at Gordo Inc., <laughs> the most successful chain on the planet. See, I told you, I told you. <laughs> but imagine how big we could be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I uh, I just, and Brian, I think it's very funny. <laughs> Of, uh, I just looked at my phone yes. and I noticed I had an extra notification. Uh, but does it because say fuck you? It's because it? someone hearted a message to me saying fuck you and it was not myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that was a you game. Hard, you went with a self heart, <laughs> and th- it was a game changer when I found out you could emphasize your own text. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go out. All on right, that. we love you guys. See you next Tuesday. Yeah. See you. Oh. <laughs> oh.